the 2020s, a coup occurred in the Republic of East Asia, which had become the world's most powerful nation, both in terms of the economy and military. Tatagata Killer from the army assumed the imperial title, establishing the Gotham Empire. Through absolute information control in the empire, the people feverishly welcomed the emperor, who advocated the idea of a unified world. Once a superpower, the United States of America, its glory long gone, and even the United Nations could only watch from the sidelines. The planet Earth was rapidly accelerating toward a unified world by dictatorship. related to ancient myths. You know, Izumo has strong ties with the gods. Who cares? I'm hungry. What? You have heard of the Yamato no Orochi, right? Oh, I know the story. The one in ancient myth. Huh? The Yamata no Orochi, a huge serpent monster with eight heads and its tail also split into eight. It swallows people whole. What? It is said to have lived around here. Around here? But that's only a myth, right? There are no monsters. No way. Well, yes way! Look over there! Huh? Huh? Whoa. Children, look, pay attention! Look over there! Man, look! Oh, what is it? The Yamato Orochi! What are you children, huh? What is that? Images and footages uploaded online. National Cyber Center enhanced monitor on Japan server. Komatsu, no scramble. All online images and footages deleted. Not detected by the Japanese Self Defense Forces or the American Pacific Command. As you see, it is perfect. Unbelievable. Not even visible through ultrasonic detectors. That'll allow us to sneak under enemy aircraft carriers without a trace. Miss Lekachan, how were you able to get all of this technology? All is confidential, except to the technical team, even to us officials. Miss Lekachan. Well done. I expect your continued cooperation. Reporting from Dubai, the capital of Nantai. At the break of dawn, the Gotham Empire started its invasion on Nantai. Oh, the Gotham Empire has released a statement. Nantai has been a long property of the Gotham Empire. Thus will not accept any intervention from the International Society. Ah! No what? cameras! Stop! No! Julia. Oh, show! On this bed! Please don't worry. You're safe here now. Julia, please help me. Take good care of her. She's not injured. She may have lost her family. Joe, please, stay with her a bit. There you go now. How about something warm to drink? <gasps> Chief Urano! The entire Nantai Island taken down in just three days. We Earth Doctors are allowed here under the International Treaty, but... Under surveillance, of course. We'll probably be kicked out in a day or two. But... 
There are still so many injured here, and we must do everything we can to find those missing. That too, but the general's here. <gasps> what? Really? The general is? Shh. The, the general? Y you mean? Yes, the general is the head of Earth Doctors. No, the head of the secret society, Hermes Wings. Hey, he's usually behind heavy doors of headquarters in New York. Hardly makes appearances. Even I've only seen him once from afar. But he came out here and put his life on the line. Wow! The situation is that grave. <laughs> Urano, Team Chief, sir. Uh, pleased to meet you. Thank you very much for your visit. Is there anything you need? Everything. We must try to make the best of what we have. Julia, sir. Hello, Julia. Sho. Sho Shishimaru, sir. Hmm. At this rate, Japan will be occupied in less than one week. What? Really? No way! That can't be! Since when have you been our member? It's been three years, sir. I would really like to help other people. Sho, I'm glad we met. Sir. Mm hmm? No, it's nothing, sir. Just please, be careful. Gosh, I actually spoke with the general. But hey, why was he staring at your face, Sho? You've met, no? Right, Sho? It must be nothing. It's nothing. They sunk? I see. I will inform the Prime Minister immediately. Hmm. Prime Minister, the Godam Empire has sunk the U.S. Navy aircraft carriers in Japan's territorial waters. Uh, uh. Two U.S. Navy aircraft carriers en route to Nantai were sunk by the Godam Empire, citing unacceptable intervention. It's bad. The U.S. Navy's aircraft carriers. What will happen to Japan if Godam and the U.S. go to full-blown war? Uh, well, uh, as many of you know, Japan cannot do, uh, anything. As a matter of fact, Article 9 is written so that we cannot protect our people. You're saying it's time we pay for taking peace for granted? Mr. Prime Minister, should I make the call and get the U.S. President Tom Bucks on the line right now? And what do you suppose I tell him? We received warning from the Gotham Empire that it has 300 intercontinental missiles, the East Special, ready to head for the United States. Of course, they are carrying missiles with nuclear warheads. They will be launched immediately if we open fire in retaliation for our sunken aircraft carriers. And what's the expected damage? It's impossible for us to shoot them all down with our Patriot missiles. Worst case, well over 50 million fatalities. 50 million? We've been drastically slashing our military expenditure for fiscal reconstruction. <sighs> we no longer are the police of the world. So instead of justice, we must choose the path for survival. The Godam Army expanding in northern India is advancing south. Engaging in localized battles with the Indian Army. The U.S. isn't making a move. India probably doesn't want a full-scale war with the Godam Empire either. Do you? Have any new leads on the Emperor of Gotham? There seems to be no documentation on the Tathagata killer anywhere. According to inside information, there has been a rumor of a masked military official for the past two years. It seems he worked at a secret national research institute until then. But all members linked to it have disappeared after the coup. Presumably dead. We are assuming, sir, the Tathagata killer is probably not his real name. Yet this world's destiny is about to be in the hands of that mystery man. At this rate, Japan will be occupied in less than one week.
As a result, a total of 18 countries in Asia, Europe, and Africa have pledged subservience. The keys are the US, Russia, and India. We're dead goose if they decide to nuke us all simultaneously. <sighs> Miss Lekachan, isn't there a miraculous super weapon? Something that will wipe out an entire nation? No, there isn't. What a shame. Your amazing secret technology is useless when we need it most. Your Majesty! Will you please stop? When will it be completed? In no time, Your Majesty. The ultimate destructive weapon will be completed in no time. Ultimate destructive weapon? His glorious majesty will name the weapon once it's been completed. But with this, all countries upon this earth will bow down to the glorious Gotham Empire. What kind of weapon is it? Simply put, this weapon creates a six trillion degree fireball and throws it behind enemy lines. Six trillion degrees? That's approximately 400,000 times the temperature at the core of the sun. A major city would be evaporated instantaneously with just a small fireball. We could take out an entire continent at our will. Any questions? Amazing. An impressive, ultimate destructive weapon. W when can we start experimenting? Lake Achan. I believe I hadn't told you about it. Did you not think we would create such a ferocious weapon? from the secret technology you provided me? Or purposely kept the knowledge from me? I am the emperor and a military man, but at the same time, an ingenious scientist. It's not like you forgot that, have you? If used, it will affect the Earth's crust and eventually, not a single person will be able to live on this planet. So insightful. <clears throat> Speaking from experience? The Godem Empire already has the world's best military power. So why does it need to possess such a weapon? Or is it because you plan to destroy this planet? <laughs> why would I destroy what is finally mine? Just a little demonstration. Once people see its power, they will know better to oblige. And the entire world will fall at my feet. This is... not contradicting the wish of you and your people, I believe. We found it! Oh, at last! The Godems are here. They're behind us. I never expected you to be a member of a secret society like the Hermes Wings. Sir, I'm sorry I kept it from you. Protecting politicians and leading figures around the world targeted by the Gotham Empire. I wish there were more politicians in this world that had ideals like you do, sir. What kind of organization is Hermes Wings? We have members in 200 countries around the world, and we devote our lives to serve the world and its people. Julia, we're surrounded. Help us. Sir, they're determined today. <laughs> nice. That was 
close. We lost them. Look, on the next alley. Got it. No! Hurry, turn right! Did we lose them? Okay, we're good. How'd you know we'd get ambushed? He gets it quite often. A premonition. He has visions frequently. Visions? Like it, John. She's really quite something, huh? Runs a trading firm at that age. Her company's expanding rapidly, selling new technology she gets from God knows where to the military. After the coup, she's made her way to a position of impressive authority. But her identity is unclear? Who cares? I mean, she's His Majesty's favorite. Huh. Whatever. Let's go. The secret society Hermes Wings is active. With their headquarters in New York, they are publicly known as a religious group, the Earth Doctors, a political party, and an educational institution. But behind their covers, they protect politicians and advocators who resist us. These goons are trying to spread liberal thoughts against our imperialism. They are no threat to us. No need to report such minuscule details. <laughs> All obstacles must be terminated. I shall not tolerate an incomplete world. Our branches are under attack around the world. How's that possible? The security system and the surveillance cameras had been enhanced against attacks. We're not Gu safe here. Guys! Guys! What is it? <gasps> the general. The oppressive attacks on Hermes' wings by the Gotham Empire are intensifying. I've been moving every four hours without informing my whereabouts, but... Uh, you mean to tell me there's a spy in our midst? Huh? I must say, I'm afraid so. So, you mean all these attacks? Gotham Special Unit seems to be using an unknown advanced technology. Incomplete information, but apparently the Special Unit came roping out of the sky without making a sound. They must have gone right past the cameras, but without the slightest trace. The transmission got cut off so we couldn't get any more information. So all of our people have been captured? Or killed. How dare they? But we will pursue love and justice. I swear it on the name of Hermes' wings. Even if something were to happen to me, the light of hope must be carried on. I hereby appoint the next general of Hermes' wings. The next general is Sho Shishimaru. I want you to be our no, the world's light of hope. The light of hope? I don't think I can assume such responsibility. That's not true, Sho. You can do it. I agree. You'll do fine. All of us here support you too. One of the greatest missions as general is to find a worthy successor. 
I knew that mission was over the day I met you. And there is another mission passed down the line of generals. Huh? You must find the sacred symbol. The sacred symbol? Also called the savior's symbol, a key to saving this world. It seems it is in the ancient Incan ruins under Lake Titicaca in South America. That's all we know so far. <coughs> the Godums! Need right now! Sit right here, sir. Thanks. We're safe now. The front is clear. Are you hit? Uh, I'll, I'll be fine. Here, catch your breath, then we'll go. Mm. And now. Well, what's that huh? for? What do you think? Rano! <laughs> General! Don't move. Rano, what are you doing? You must realize the world will sooner or later be ruled by the Godam Empire. You have betrayed us. Tell me why. Who doesn't like money? Besides, countries around the world kissed up to that empire for money to begin with, turning a blind eye to their extraordinary military expansion. And the result is global domination by the Godam Empire. So why would you be chosen as the general successor instead of me? But if I kill two generals at once, the Godom Empire will reward me handsomely. I'm sorry. Don't take this as personal. Huh? <laughs> Don't move. We're not your enemy. It's just a sleeping gas. We are not killers. Uh, the general! Your friend from the West. He died. But why? Why? <gasps> then how about the other Japanese? Are you referring to the man who tried to shoot you? We left him behind. And the other members? We do not know. <sighs> we came all the way from India just to see you. We have been... <laughs> we have been waiting for you for over 2,500 years. What? Our organization believes in the reincarnation of Buddha. We have been waiting patiently. Buddha? You are the reincarnation of Buddha. Well, well wait a second. I don't, I don't follow what you're saying. I, I mean, how could you say that? What are you saying? I... See that? We recently discovered this golden urn holding a vital key to the reincarnation of Buddha. It says here, Buddha will be reborn in the East, shall save the world, and turn the wheel of Dharma against the demons. And it also says, in the country of the sun, there is a man with a lion's roar, and his power shall soar into high heavens. We've run you through a very thorough background check. The chief here believes that you, Sho Shishimaru, are the reincarnation of Buddha. You are the world's light of hope. You are the light of hope for our world. Wait, you mean the light of hope for the world? I want you to be our, no, the world's light of hope. I am still not fully convinced myself. 
Bodhi. Understand, as the successor of Chief Delani, I must know whether you are really the reincarnation of Buddha and our savior. I must do all I can to uncover the truth of this situation. I don't understand anything about Buddha or savior for that matter. Buddha means he who has been enlightened. The being who knows the truth about this world and the spirit world. He who leads people to happiness with his teachings of the mind. Savior is the being who appears when civilizations are in a crisis to save and usher in the new age. It is you who has been prophesied as Buddha and the Savior. It's true, I've always wanted to help people. Throughout my life, I've always tried to do the right thing. Of course, I cannot overlook anyone who has suffered, but Buddha? A savior? That's too outrageous. Humankind will realize who their creator is and who their lord is. Look, with, with all due respect, I'm sorry, but I have my own mission. I'm worried about my friends. Besides, uh, look, I don't mean to be rude. It's just that the urn, the ancient script was in, seems metallic to me. I can't believe that such an amazing golden urn existed 2,500 years ago. It really is something. Yes, my thoughts exactly. Look, I, I just want you to know I'm, I truly appreciate you saving my life. And I'm terribly sorry, but I just cannot live up to your expectations. But I should go now. We scientifically analyzed this urn. It is from 2,500 years ago. <laughs> What's more, this metal is not from Earth. At the time of Shakyamuni Buddha? That can't be. There are truths hidden in the most unbelievable places, even in a simple metal urn. And that is why the two of us have made this long journey. Hmm. Besides, how much do people today actually know? Who they are, what they are born for, and what they live for. They don't even know about themselves. <gasps> if they are not willing to learn, then who will teach them the truth? The Noble Eightfold Path? The greatest legacy Buddha left for humankind. Also, a sacred way to learn about your true self. Learn about your true self. Who am I? Truth can only be obtained by clearing your mind and facing your true self. Huh? 
Could that be the future? Indeed, you are the perfect man. I am the only perfect man on Earth. I do not need parents or God. Indeed, that is why you are perfect. Those lousy humans are first controlled by their parents, then chained down to God till death. That's why they're weak. That's why they're imperfect. The imperfect work of God. That is human. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> God creates imperfect works, plays with them, and then abandons them. God is the most simple. It's here. Who are you? I am Konohana no Saki Abimi, the protector of the noble heart of Japan, the country of Yamato, which I love so dearly. Yes, I am. What? As you were just thinking, I am a spirit. Show, you know in your heart that spirits can read minds. Well, I do believe in the afterworld and in spirits, but when I actually get to meet... Show, do I look real to you? <gasps> oh my gosh. So you really can read my mind. The fact is fact. The truth is truth. As you can see, spirits do exist. Absolutely. Without a doubt. And you are a spirit yourself also. The only difference is whether you dwell in a body or not. The soul is the true nature of humans. So then, you're a god? The spiritual world is vast, and there are many levels to it. There are many beings referred to as a god where I live. But there is an even higher spiritual world beyond that. Who you refer to as god is... Probably the existence living in the highest ultimate spiritual world. And that is also where the Savior lives. The Savior? However, when the Savior rises, evil also rises. Evil? You mean devils? In the spiritual world, there's also an area referred to as Hell. The world ruled by devils through power and fear. And devils also emerge on Earth to drag more people into Hell. That is why devils inflame people's desires and corrupts them, or invokes people's hatred and anger towards other people, ethnicities, or countries to trigger conflicts. They also make people believe that there is nothing beyond their physical bodies and their world, and to deny God and the spirit world, trying to lure them away from faith. That is how they try to control humans. But many people do not know that. Religion that is supposed to teach the truth is not serving its purpose. That is why a savior who will start a new religion is needed. Sometimes I feel I have strange visions. I saw the moment of a man's death. It actually happened. I've had more. Can the future not be changed? 
If the future truly beholds what I saw in my vision. I cannot tell you whether the future can be changed or not, but I can tell you this. No action will bring you no change. Please abort your plan. Using it will end this planet. Your Majesty! Soon I shall become the sole ruler of this world. The supreme ruler of Earth. Right now, the throne of the Empress is open. <laughs> you are different now. You've changed. You used to have deep sorrow in your eyes. Your Majesty, are you not being controlled by something else? Even before you are able to reign this planet. I need you to get me a helicopter. Huh? Oh, yes, sir. No action will bring no change. Prime Minister, the U.S. will abrogate the Japan-U.S. Security Treaty. Oh, now, now no one will protect Japan anymore. That's why I said we needed to enhance the alliance with the U.S. You never said anything like that. We'll fully surrender. Become a colony of the Golden Empire? What's wrong with that? A colony. That means Japan will cease to exist. It's better than fighting and getting killed. I'll flee somewhere before that, of course. No! Oh, you hey, may not enter! Are you going to protect this country? Closed, no! The Golden Empire has been enhancing its military capacity for over 20 years! Ah! It's impossible! You never saw this coming! Japan has a strong defense force! You're responsible for making this decision! permission to intercept. Ah! Prime Minister! First Aviation Regiment, all signals lost! I cannot make that decision. Second Aviation Regiment, all signals lost! The 
life of resurrection, the righteous holy beast, the Yamata no Orochi. Go now, stop them from reaching Japan. has a new weapon? No way. Fighter jets return from the airspace. Fire at the cloud with an anti-air missile. We can't see anything. Switching to the analysis screen. The entire fleet is swallowed in the mysterious cloud and cannot be analyzed. That's impossible. Report from the fleet. All vessels halted. Function recovered. Clear. Now, launch the landing ships immediately. Dispersing. Let's go! So, I can't stop their invasion. However hard I may try, I can't. If you give up, all hope will be lost. 
You are the only light of hope. Please. Majesty the Emperor, the people of the Far East Autonomous Territory are given equal rights. Far East Autonomous Territory? Huh? It feels so weird. So we can no longer say Japan? We're no longer Japanese. We're now citizens of the Gotham Empire. This isn't Tokyo. It's the first controlled special economic zone. But you know, it's annoying we can't call ourselves Japanese. You're right. Hold it, you! Huh? What? Hey! What did we do? A temporary bill has been passed, which prohibits the use of Japanese in three years. The Japanese once caused great harm and did many bad things, forcing its neighboring countries to suffer immensely. But now, with the help of our great emperor, they are finally starting to become decent citizens. There's so many words we can't search. Shh. Oh, it's a bug. There it is. Uh. We had it for years, and I just forgot about it. All religions are prohibited in Gotham. Death to offenders and their families. But please, spare my child. <laughs> Take them away. No, not my daddy! Look at that. So completely useless. I can't believe Yurano committed suicide. What should I do? I want you to be the world's light of hope. It is you who has been prophesied as Buddha and Savior. If you choose to give up, all hope will be lost. Are you... God? If you are God, please guide me. Tell me, how can the world possibly be saved from total destruction? That depends on you and the entire human race. Your love and tolerance. Love and tolerance. When humankind realizes the true meaning of these words, the doors to a new age shall be opened. I will bestow upon you the sacred ritual. Tomorrow night, return here and pray. General, the savior symbol has been found. Hmm? According to the report, a prophecy by an ancient Incan king has been found from the bottom of Lake Titicaca. The prophecy says, when the world is swallowed by darkness, the Savior shall rise. And a message, bring this to the Savior. This is his staff, the Savior's symbol.
Who are you? It was you who called me here. Me? You performed the sacred ritual to call UFOs. That's why I'm here. I came from Venus. My name is Yuktika. You're not surprised seeing an alien? Well, I can sense that you really mean no harm to me. I'm impressed. But even you don't know that the Godam Empire is using the technologies of an extraterrestrial civilization. The Godam Empire? And aliens? Of course. An entirely different race from us. There are many different types of aliens here on this planet. Well then, tell me, why are you? A long time ago, I had once served you. On Venus. On Venus? Served me? Venus had once prospered with its advanced civilization. People had built a utopia full of love and harmony under your leadership. But 500 million years ago, the civilization on Venus came to an end. So the Venusians immigrated to other planets throughout the universe. I myself have chosen to stay in the spirit world of Venus, but... What I saw last night, is he also an alien? No. He is the great spirit of Earth, the king of the ancient Incan Empire, Rient Al Crowd, and you at the same time. <gasps> uh you will understand one day. Please ride on this. We will go to the Godam Empire. Godam? There is a lady, a key person. Okay. Who's there? I'm Sho. Sho Shishimaru. Tell me, are you Japanese? You're not Asian, I presume. <laughs> to me, you look like you're Scandinavian. Here on Earth, that is. Who are you? Oh, angels of heaven, please lend me your power. <gasps> I just want to talk with you. Okay, fine. Will you let me down, please? <gasps> So is this how your people treat others, then? Uh, no, I'm sorry. You don't seem to be from our planet. There is an extraterrestrial being helping the Gotham Empire. You know, you're no ordinary human yourself, either. Well, no. I'm only a mere human being truly wishing for peace on this planet, and that's why I came to see you. <laughs> if the Gotham Empire rules the world, the entire human race is doomed. There is no happiness in a world suppressing its people, denying them a free will or religion. Tell me, why are you helping them? My real name is actually Theta. I came from a planet which humans refer to as Vega of Lyra. Would you please look into my eyes? Now, 
Let me tell you my story. Vega was a peaceful planet with calm and harmonious people. But Lyra had two other planets with advanced civilizations. The bloodthirsty race opened fire and our three planets went into war. My father, the king of Vega, devoted himself to peace and I helped him. But the worst was yet to come. The forbidden weapon had been launched. The weapon affected the very core of our planet, drastically changing the climate. We could no longer live above ground. We fled underground and survived, but sooner or later, Vega would be a dead planet. So my father and I decided to relocate our people to another planet. But why Earth? Because our ancestors came from a planet in this solar system. Your ancestors? I prayed to the god of Earth. Then... I understand your love for the people of Vega. I permit your immigration to Earth. However, whether you find home on Earth depends on the hearts of your people and the people on Earth. Although I obtained his permission, we faced another serious problem. The people of Vega decided to reject the immigration plan to Earth. Why? A rumor spread that Earth was full of conflicts and was a dangerous planet. But my father and I kept speaking to our people, and we convinced about one million citizens to emigrate to Earth. Go, Theta. Go and lead our people to the Earth. And you, father? I am the sovereign ruler of this planet. And as king, I will not abandon it until every last one of my subjects are safe. My aged father seemed to know he did not have much time left. We promised to reunite, although we both knew it would never happen. And so, I left my beloved mother planet. That's so sad. I came here on a spaceship, but there were also others who came. They came here separately, as souls. With the permission of the spirit world of Earth, these souls may enter female bodies and be born as people here on Earth. But sometimes, unpermitted souls would walk in. In other words, they enter human bodies and learn how to live on Earth by sharing a body with its rightful owner. Countries without a strict census registry system and that do not acknowledge spiritual presence are easy to walk in on. So we chose the former Republic of East Asia, the current Godom Empire, as our immigration base. Actually, some of us can freely change our forms and also appear as other individuals. For example, I transformed into an Asian woman named Glycachan and started a trading firm. I marketed the mineral ores and scientific technologies I brought from Vega. I thought of establishing a favorable position with the government in preparation of a full-scale emigration. So you sided with Tatagata Killer? It wasn't that simple. I first met him three years ago. And back then, I saw something deeper in him. His eyes had so much sorrow. Sorry to keep you waiting. I am so honored to have the Director of Science of the Military himself come. Please excuse me for my appearance. It is for special research I am conducting, so I mean no harm. I understand. I can tell from your eyes. <sighs> I wanted to meet you in person, to make sure. The new technologies you bring in is by who? And where is it developed? Our firm invests massively in research and development for talented scientists around the world. There is no scientist more talented than me in this world. The technology you bring in seems to be from a civilization over a thousand years more advanced than ours. Like from another planet. 
I want to know the truth as a scientist. It's a trade secret. I can't. <laughs> I have a secret of my own. What do you want? What I want? You tell me first. Why did you come to Earth? How did you know? So you are. Truth is, I wasn't exactly sure. But I can understand. Believing that civilizations only exist on Earth in this vast universe is nothing more than a ridiculous delusion. So I can accept your existence. The problem is... your intention. I made an arrangement with him. Fine. Let me peacefully unify this world using your scientific technology. Once it has been unified, I will give you Africa for your people to immigrate to. This will stay between us two. I am a man of my word. He then rose to power in the military, launched a coup, and became the Emperor. But he's changed as if being possessed by something. He's about to complete the ultimate destructive weapon. It is the exact same weapon that was once used to destroy my planet Vega. The ultimate destructive weapon? If this weapon is used, then Earth will fall into the same fate as Vega. <gasps> so why won't you stop him? I tried. <laughs> but he won't listen to anyone. If I disobey, not only will the immigration plan falter, the Vegans already here will be harshly penalized. Theta, can I ask you one thing? Why are you letting me in on such an important secret, considering we recently just met? Do you know something? Your eyes remind me of his eyes. Who? The god of Earth, Rient Arl Crowd. Rient Arl Crowd? Rient Arl Crowd, and you at the same time. I feel terrible about what we have done to the people of Earth. However... This is the only way to save my Vegans. I have no choice. I understand that you love the people from your planet so very dearly. As much as I love the people on this planet. I feel that way. It is true. Some people can be so foolish at times. Some only think of themselves and want to create disharmony among all of us. They keep repeating the same mistakes over and over. They also create hatred amongst one another. Still, I will always love them all because, after all, they are my fellow people living on this planet Earth. This planet is infinitely beautiful because it is filled with boundless love. In a world filled with different ethnicities, creeds, cultures, and values, humans are repeatedly reincarnating, learning from their experiences, and constantly nurturing their souls. In this vast universe, our blue planet is carrying such beautiful souls. That is why I cannot help but love the people, all the people on Earth, Earth, this planet of love. I love the people of Vega from the bottom of my heart. In order to help them, in order to serve as their savior, I came here to Earth. But there was a savior on Earth too, who also loves this planet so dearly. If my people are to live on this planet, it means we will also become people of Earth. Becoming a person of Earth means to believe in the savior of this planet and to love our fellow people of Earth. That will become our proof. We will truly become people of Earth. I can only imagine how many tears you must have shed for your people. You understand the significance of my tears. However, I shall not shed any more tears until the day my wish is granted. I will make you that promise.
more and more countries are pledging allegiance. The great Gotham Empire shall soon arise! We will attack the moment the ultimate destructive weapon is used. Intervening when the people living on this planet try to destroy their own civilization does not violate the Galactic Treaty. We will instantaneously take Earth before our food starts wiping out each other. The planets themselves are a life form with an advanced consciousness. If humankind takes a wrong path and disdains Earth as a place for soul training, Earth, at its own discretion, will cause natural disasters such as great earthquakes and sink continents to purify the world, like the Mu civilization and the Atlantis civilization. It's not a matter of being able to change the future or not. We must change it. That's all. Hermes Wings is active around the world. Report to His Majesty. Now is the time to stand up. Поднимемся же! Верю в будущее! We must have courage! 未来是靠我们每个人的勇气创造的。Many different governments are responding to the words of the public. The U.S. president has issued a statement. We choose justice. Let all countries unite and protect our freedom. Humans. They are truly foolish creatures. They chose the path to doom. <laughs> I will sneak into the Gotham military base and destroy the ultimate destructive weapon. We must avoid the worst case scenario at all cost. I will see to it that my guards from Vega protect you. Some are already in there as Gotham soldiers. Okay. Do not worry. I will put a call out to my Vegan guards to rise against the Empire from within. Let us both work together for the peace of this planet. We have been waiting for you. I'm Sho, Sho Shishimaru. Princess Theta has ordered us to protect you. So, let's go take out the ultimate destructive weapon. Yes, sir! My beloved Vegans, hear my plea. Please rise for our people back home and for this planet. They all need our help. <laughs> Over there, that's the ultimate destructive weapon. Defense formation!
Princess Theta said you are the light of hope. So I will... I will fight for Earth! You are Hermes' wings. walked right into our trap. Now we can take out our biggest nuisance, and all our wishes will all come true. Firing squad! Take aim! So he was, an ordinary human after all. This shall set an example for those who disobey me. Lekachan, I will spare you this one last time. You are special. You can start your immigration plan. Huh?
What a fool. The truth is, I am not from this planet. What? I came from Vega in Lyra. However, I have deep regrets about that decision now. I took away the single most important presence from the people of planet Earth. But right now, it might not be too late. of hope for humankind is lost. Dear God, the God of Earth, Buddha, the source of the great universe, I offer to you my life, and I offer to you my soul. I humbly offer to you all of my love. So I beg you, please resurrect the origin of happiness of this planet. Revive our origin of happiness. I beg you, God. Also a part of your soul. You are the father of our souls. You existed before the past and beyond the future. The very life of the fundamental God, the God of Earth, who has endured solitude for 100 billion years since the creation of the universe. The God of Earth.
Theta. This can't be. Is it true? Fire! Shoot him to death! What? Uh, take aim! Fire! What? Fire! It's an order! <gasps> <laughs> He's God. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I suppose he wasn't so perfect after all. What a fool, seduced by a woman. <laughs> Do you know what it is I wish for? I wish to see God's face wet with tears. True sin is not having any real faith. People only believe in what they can see, losing something important in the process. Earth is in danger right now because of such sin all around the world. What we need to do now to save Earth is not military power, nor is it economic power. The future of our planet Earth lies in the minds of each and every person on this planet. What Earth needs now is for every human beyond all borders is to have faith. Believe in things we can't see. Please believe in my words. If you believe, pray with us for Earth and for the people of this planet. God will not abandon us. Uh. It's too late. Everything shall end. <laughs> Yeah. 
It's the end of the world. Ah! Hey, stop! The light of love. Wisdom. Self-reflection and... Progress. There is more to this world than what we can see. The world we live in is a mystical world. Although invisible, the spirit world does exist, as do the gods, the angels, and the demons. And many inhabitants of other planets have joined us and live amongst us on Earth. Our world is composed of all these elements, and we must understand this. That is the truth. The truth. We humans have been reincarnating repeatedly in different eras and places. Yet why do people hate and detest each other? Why can we not love each other beyond ethnicity? Fighting because of differences in nationality or religion may mean fighting your own country, family, and friends whom you once loved in your previous life. Why do you fight with people you should love? We are all equally precious. Do you know why? We are precious because each and every one of us is God's child, and that is the origin of democracy. Through various experiences, Humans, who are God's children, must learn, develop, and increase the light of our souls in this mystical world God has created. That joy, indeed, is happiness. In this vast universe, Earth is one of the greatest lands for training our souls. It is not only open to the people of Earth, but also to the entire universe. It's the planet of love. So believe in the love of God, who protects and nurtures this earth. That is faith. Let us stand together as one universe. Faith to manifest love shall never vanish from this world. Earth shall enter...
of a new age, when our faith prevails to create world peace, true democracy, and prosperity. Believe in me. Love and tolerance, that is what we must have as people of Earth in the coming new age. To all of you living on this planet of love known as Earth, now is the time for us to stand together as people of Earth. that the world has been waiting for. The God of Earth. The God of Earth. Our Savior. I believe in you. <laughs> I believe in you. The crisis has left. Abide by the Galactic Treaty. You are the ones who intervened first. You violated the Galactic Treaty. Let me remind you, intervention is permitted only when those living on this planet try to destroy their own civilization. Am I correct? The human race on Earth has started on its path toward a new future at its own will. Great news for the universe. human. I, I have no parents. I am a mere object created as a nation's tool through genetic manipulation. <laughs> you are not an object. You, too, are God's child. A human being. I know. I remember parting with you. Like this, a very long time ago. I will speak to my people about Earth when I return to Vega. And then, I will send my beloved people to you. I shall accept those who love Earth. Who will live and work together as fellow human beings. There may be some people who will try to deny the truth of what I tell them. But yet, I refuse to abandon a single one of them. I swear, however long it may take, I will try until the last one. I would. Do the same if I were you. 
we shall meet again in another era on another planet. Thank you. That was my favorite word on Earth. I will never forget about this. Planet of Love, Earth. Keep on. 